Okay, now we're going to look at the words north and south. Uh, we're not dealing with any complicated combinations here, as we've al already seen many times. T-H equals T-H-E. By joining them all into a single stroke, you don't have to add that extra dash. It, it's just eliminated, not necessary anymore. You can draw it if you like. So, north and south in the simplest possible combinations. N-O-R-T-H. And south. S-O-U-T-H. So now we're going to try to make these kind of logographic, or try to put the meanings into them. So s traditionally, north, south, east, and west are mapped into our minds, with north being up and south being down on the map. This is great. So south, we've got a, kind of an arrow shape here with our triangle pointing down. If we keep that pointing down, we're pretty good to go right there. That looks like it's pointing down. North, however, to make it point up, it's going to be a little more difficult. We could try to arrange these somehow so they become an arrow. That might be difficult. I think our best bet is to maybe make the N smaller and fatten up the O and R, maybe. Uh, we can't fatten R's too much, otherwise you look like A's. But if we can fatten the bottom and skinny the top, the whole character might try, start to take on an upwards pointing look to it. So first, let's look at the combinations that we can use with these words. As for special combinations, there's not much we got to go with. OR, because it's so common as a word OR, you can do it like so. You can also put the R inside, but very often we use this version of OR. And then you can also just connect vertically through it, and this becomes OR, it's the double letter combination. So we've got a couple options there, I'm not sure if we're going to need any of them. May, might actually need the R, OR. Um, so, uh, and south, uh, well the big one is the OU. So OU. One important thing to remember about the S when it connects to an O or a U, it has to connect on the side, it's best to do it that way. You don't ever want to try to connect it like that to a U or an O. You want to connect it to into the side of the character, like so. Okay, so let's see, right, we'll start with the easy one, south. What can we do with it? Well, we could do something like this, south. We could try putting the TH into the circle. Like so. There's a couple options. They still kind of point down. They still hold that triangle shape in there, so they kind of point down. But I'm thinking our best option is going to be something along the lines of Something like that, maybe. Okay, the S, I wanted to try to make the S seem to be coming down too, but that's not going to be much of an option. We might want to try to just do it like that. And uh, we've already got an arrow pointing down. As I said, this one is easy. North is a little bit more of a challenge. So how are we going to make this look up? First, we're going to want to make a very small N that points kind of straight up. Now, fatten up the O so it's wider than the N. R... We could try putting it inside, just eliminating it from the equation. TH. Not bad. Could be pointing up. I'm not extremely pleased with it, but I don't see anything else at the moment that's particularly catching my eye. North. Still not quite pointing up. That's... A bit tricky. Uh, play with it yourself. Maybe you can find some kind of combination in your eye can't. Remember, we can also use the non-standard TH, or the to separate the letters, so we can go TH or TH. You might be able to find something in there that helps you make it feel to be pointing upwards and north.